I think people in the media suffer along with a whole range of other professions like estate agents. People just don't want to trust them. And equally, if you go out onto the streets and ask people what they think of the weather forecast, they'll say, oh, they're always getting it wrong, aren't they? It's just an automatic thinking process for people. So I think from our point of view, um, it really helps us if we've got um, somebody that can help us to put their message out, and hopefully it helps them as well to gain that level of respect that they deserve albeit slowly but surely. As a meteorological service it's really important to build a relationship with the media, not just your normal media, the traditional media of the radio and TV, but also online media, digital media and those sort of things. If you've built that relationship then they will understand the pressures that you are under and you will understand much better the relationship and the pressures that they are under as well. Well, one of the problems that we have out in the field is that often our bosses are hundreds of miles away demanding, they've seen something in the national paper, they're saying it's blizzards right across Britain in the national headlines, um, and you say, well, actually, that's not going to happen down here, and they don't believe you. So to have an expert on hand that can tell you exactly what's happening in your area can actually really calm down a situation and um, change the perspective. And to get that information early enough as well so you can help persuade your boss's mind is, is a tremendous help. Sometimes the media may well have got this story from somewhere else, the press for example, some other source that may not be right. If you have built that relationship with your media contacts it's a perfect opportunity for you to turn that story around. You can get your key messages across and you can make sure that the real story gets told. If you've built a relationship with the media, it could be that you are the single point of contact for that relationship. However, you may not be the person that's going to go on camera. Even if you're the meteorologist, it may be that in your organisation, it's going to be somebody else that's going to go on camera. If that's the case, you need to make sure that they're fully briefed. Give them three main key points that you want them to get across. Make sure that they know the sort of questions they may get asked and do a dry run, do a rehearsal so that they're fully comfortable with the story and with the messages that they want to get across to the media organisation. From our point of view, I, I like to think that the trust works both ways, that they know that um, if there's a crisis, they can call us to put out a message that um, they want everybody in the wider world to know because obviously weather affects everybody. Um, but equally, if there is some kind of scandal associated with the weather, then we like to feel that we'd get a solid response back, um, albeit even if it's a guarded response. Don't only be reactive with the media, be proactive as well. If there's a story coming up, you could contact the media too and let them know that it's coming up and then you will raise your profile all the time as you're doing that.